No matter what you've seen, no matter what you've done in your experience with God, don't ever get too comfortable. In Leviticus chapter 10, we read about Nadab and Abihu. It's short, but it says, Aaron's sons, Nadab and Abihu, the first two priests, took their censers, put fire on them, and they had just gotten confirmed, and this whole thing had just happened. They were just like this whole ceremony of confirmation. And they offered unauthorized fire before the Lord, contrary to his command. So fire came out from the presence of the Lord and consumed them, and they died before the Lord. I want to tell you, these two guys were there when the Red Sea parted. They saw the ten plagues. They heard the voice of God from Mount Sinai and the earthquakes and the fire and the smoke. They were part of the 70 men that got to go up to Mount Sinai and meet with God. And now all of a sudden, God just strikes them dead? Why? Because they approached God in an unauthorized way. Don't make any mistake about it. You can come to God as you are, but there's only one way to approach God, and that's through Jesus Christ. And any time we offer strange fire, we're in big trouble. I know people who try to get to God through ulterior ways, like tarot cards, horoscopes, the occult, Ouija boards. Anything outside of what this book here tells you to do is strange fire. And God looks at it as very, very serious. There's a lesson in here for those of us in ministry. Aaron had to be thinking, I can't believe you killed my sons for this. I mean, I made a golden calf, right? I mean, I, I did something worse. And, and he wasn't even allowed to mourn their death. Why? One big difference. Nadab and Abihu and Aaron had been consecrated and set apart for God. They were in ministry. And because of that, their judgment and their accountability was much, much greater. Before, when he made the golden calf, he was just a guy. Now, he's the high priest of the land. Those of us who have been called by God to serve him in full-time ministry need to take Leviticus chapter 10 to heart. And all of us need to take to heart that God wants us to approach him in one way, and that is through Jesus Christ.